Hello, it's Fluffy Meowington here, and today I just want to show you the difference between the commands Weapon Show Debug Spread and CL Dynamic Crosshair. So right now, as you can see, I'm using the classic source crosshair with the center dot. I'm sure if you google it, you can find out how to add the dot in the middle. Um, as you can see, when I'm jumping, it doesn't, or crouching, it doesn't change at all. When I'm firing, it expands ever so slightly, but only to a very, you know, small amount. However, if you add CL Dynamic Crosshair 1, it will change while you move, while you jump, while you crouch, and while you fire. But it's only a very small amount. It's not. It shows you. It basically tells you. You know, maybe you shouldn't spray down someone while you're sprinting around the corner. But it doesn't really accurately represent the spread. So let's get rid of that and instead do this. As you can see, there's a, a yellow rectangle here now. Which leaves the crosshair static, but the indicators show you the spread. So that's pretty nice. However, you know, I mean, I can see the indicators could get really annoying, and yeah. So you can also do this, and now the crosshair itself represents the spread. So yeah, that's that. I mean, CL Dynamic Crosshair, you know, if you like it, why not? But, I don't know, if you're gonna use something that makes your crosshair change size, use, you know, whatever it is. Weapon Debug Spread Show 2, in my opinion. So yeah, thanks for watching, see you next time.